Here to address his classmates, the valedictorian in the class of 2018, Nicholas Ayanarone. Everyone here deserves a thank you. Our families for taking time to come here and support us as they've done for 18 years. Our teachers, faculty, and staff for maintaining an excellent environment in which to learn and grow. And finally, the class of 2018 for persevering through four years of mental and physical changes. Approximately uh, 14,260 tests and quizzes, give or take. And two and a half graduation ceremonies as of this moment. The road behind us was treacherous, and yet we've all found a way to make it our home. So how am I to advise you on what lies ahead without being some sort of psychic? Hmm, my answer to that is a field trip, of course. Specifically, a journey through time and space. My class, we will now travel to see our pasts, our futures, and at last, the present. <laughs> All it takes is a little science and a heck of a lot of imagination. Now, the first stop in our journey is the past. The first thing I ask you to observe here is failure. Every tryout you didn't make, every application that got rejected, and of course, every test or project you bombed. We've all been there. Now, please notice where all that stuff has ended up. The past, because you're graduating now. <laughs> so when events like this happen, you owe it to yourself to move on while composing yourself in a manner that you won't be regretting later. And it's not like there's much reason we should look back on our past here with regret. But together, we started clubs like the Investment Club and our chapter of the Future Medical Leaders of America. We got to watch performances from the number one marching band in the state. <laughs> Congratulations. And we brought Minithon to our school so that HH could join an annual tradition in fighting childhood cancer. We may be graduating now, but our combined efforts have left an impact on this community that will not soon be forgotten. And even with fond memories, I must say, the greatest years of your whole life will probably not have been the ones spent bubbling scantrons and popping pimples. But that's we're gonna peek ahead in two. The future. Now, unlike the past, planning for the future does require a lot of energy. So we can't stay here very long. But please know that no matter where you go after high school, you must realize the importance of the journey to this point. For the brightest future comes only from your best efforts, even as your goals change, which they probably will. After all, we're still quite young, which naturally takes us back to the present, where I will be dropping us off from our voyage. Now, I must say, there is a reason that we're stopping here. That might be quite a shock to some of you, but uh, this whole stinking voyage was a lie! <laughs> That's right! I'm a con artist, you see. I can't really travel time. Mm. Wait, wait, or can I? Hmm, well this voyage is a physical impossibility. It is one that we take all the time in the mind as we've just witnessed. And unlike Ebenezer Scrooge, who awoke from his mystical adventure as if it were a dream, we travel time like the astronauts in Interstellar or the Planet of the Apes, the original, of course. In space, while these astronauts were traveling at what felt like regular time to them, the effects of gravity and high-speed travel 
caused them to miss many years of life back on Earth, a reality that became shockingly clear to them once their journeys ended. Sadly, through mental time travel, we could all fall to the same fate. Now, don't get me wrong, it's always good to do some travelings, you know, to reflect on past memories like our time at HH, or to plan ahead for and take inspiration from your future goals. However, heed my warning, if you travel too much and too far, the regret for the past or reluctance to move into the future, the world that you leave will leave you behind. Therefore, my parting advice as a crafty ocarina playing con artist is this. You can enter the best fields in life with the best intentions, your best efforts, and you'll still fail many times. So when this happens, let the past become the past. Don't dwell on regrets. Let the future change. Don't fear new approaches or even new goals. And embrace the present moment, for it is the past upon which your future was built. So take advantage of it. Act upon it. Now, before this speech runs to the end of time, I'd like to thank the HH staff once again for providing both knowledge and model characteristics for, for us as we continue our journeys through time. And to the class of 2018, to all my friends, I challenge you to continue these journeys with both dignity and drive. Thank you and congratulations on a job well done. <laughs> Pardon me while I take my time to get off the stage. <laughs> <laughs>